everyone, welcome back to my channel. As some of you may know from watching my first video, I have something called auditory processing disorder. And if you haven't seen my first video, I will be linking the link down below in the description box. But in today's video, I'll be explaining what is auditory processing disorder. I'm not an audiologist or a doctor, I'm just someone who has auditory processing disorder and would like to bring awareness. I'll be using the paper to give you factual information and so that I do not make any mistakes and that I can give you the correct information that you need to know. So APD actually affects 5% of school age children. There are five um, areas that an audiologist are looking for when assessing your child. They will be looking for auditory figure ground, which is where the child is not able to pay attention when there's a lot of background noises. Another thing that they'll be looking for is auditory memory. Auditory memory is when the child is having trouble remembering information like directions, list, study material, and I was talking to my grandma who was a tutor for me and you guys will be able to meet her but she told me because at first I didn't understand it and she told me that there were some times where she would tell me the word and I would forget it or the next day she would try to test me again and I would forget it so that's that's kind of what it is and I'll put a, an example right here so the next thing they look for is auditory discrimination auditory discrimination is where the child can't differentiate from different sounds and no and words. So for example, ch and sh sounds similar to them, as in coat and boat also sound similar to them. Another thing that they look for is auditory attention. This is where the child has a hard time listening, so school environments are hard for them to listen to the teacher because of their um, auditory listening. They also look for auditory cohesion which is a higher level of task. So for example, um, they can't understand riddles or something like that to that extent. So we're gonna have a series on auditory processing. I just gave you an example of five things that they're looking for and what maybe you can see in your child. Again, I am not an audiologist. I'm just stating some facts that I found on the internet and this is relating to me because I have auditory processing disorder. In later videos, I will be explaining my story. This is from a viewpoint of the patient and the child who has auditory processing. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time and always remember, accept, understand, and love. Hello everybody, it's Monroe here. I wanted to remind you to hop on the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and hop on the bell icon so you can be the first to know when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.